Hey everyone, it's Addicted in Nature, and today I have a video on dealing with melt back. Okay, you can kind of look over here, you can see that this is going to shit, honestly. Over here, same thing, it's not getting enough light. Over here, it's a little bit better, you know, I've got a lot of actually green here. This tank has actually been set up. Let me zoom out and give you guys a feel of what's happening in this tank. It's, uh, some of the plants are starting to brown, not everything, which is good. But we're, I'm gonna try to save the, you know, the rest of the plant, make sure that it doesn't happen. And so the solution that I have is actually called rooting hormone. You can see that it's written here where my thumb is. And uh, a little bit about rooting hormone if you've never seen it before. This is a very common thing that we use when we are gardening. A lot of times people use this for propagation during the spring. It's right after winter. They go out, they take cuttings, which is literally just, they take a branch of a tree, of a shrub. It could be plums or grapes or, or a tree or a flower or whatever. But they take a, a branch, depends on, depending on the species, it depends on how long it is. They take a branch and they dip it in rooting hormone and then they put it in the ground and then three to five weeks later they keep it moist and then you get a new plant right and the bottom starts growing roots and the top starts growing up and it's great so what is rooting hormone number one a couple of things is you're gonna go out there you're gonna find online articles you're gonna see youtubers where they start they're scared about growing a third hand and this is what it looks like on the inside they're scared about growing a third hand or a third finger or, or a sixth finger if they just take their hand and then they put it in the rooting hormone like that. Well, I just did that, I'm fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Do I wanna sniff this? Do I wanna like snort it? No, I don't because what this is, is actually just a plant hormone, which makes sense, right? It's a rooting hormone. And what it's called is called auxin, A-U-X-I-N. You can Google what that does to a plant, all right? And you might be saying, okay, look, look at this active ingredient. That does not spell auxin. You're correct. Auxin, A-U-X-I-N, is the natural version of this hormone. So every plant makes auxin. Okay. Indole 3 butyric acid. You can see this is a 0, 0.1% concentration. 99.9% is another ingredient. It's probably something um, just to make it make fill this up so you know you're not getting whatever. This was like ten dollars. You're not getting ten dollars worth of oxen. You're just getting 0.1 percent oxen. This is the synthetic version. They do the same thing. They're analogs. In biology they're called analogs. They will do the same thing. It's cheaper to make than oxen, so this is what we're gonna get. Same thing, don't worry about, oh my God, am I gonna grow a six finger? You're not, because this is a plant hormone. This is not a human hormone. Will it be, will it be not enjoyable if you decide to eat this? Probably, but you're not gonna die, okay? Don't eat this, please don't sniff it, don't put it in your dog's food, don't put it in your enemy's food, Please don't make me get in trouble. Don't do it. Use this on plants, right? And what oxen does, and, and uh, here, I'll show you guys. I have a bacapa. It is a normal bacapa. An, I didn't do anything to it. It's been growing. I just cut it off. Actually, I just ripped it off. It wasn't a good tear. But what does oxen do? If you come look at the crown of this plant, you can see that this is a new growth, right? So the tip of it, this is the apical part of the plant. This tip here will make oxen. What oxen does is it diffuses and it travels down the length of this plant. So it's gonna go all the way like that. It's gonna go from the top and it's gonna go down and down and down and down and down and down and down. And what that does is oxen at the tip of a plant actually, and remember, indole 3 butyric acid, same thing, I'm gonna say oxen because it's easier to say. Oxen actually 
suppresses growth. Okay, and so what am I going to actually see here? I'm going to see that the tip here, if you look, I'm going to move this closer to the camera. Oxen, this is growing here. It's very, very bright. It's very cool, really cool, really cool. Oxen is, support, is suppressing growth at every single one of these nodes here. You can see that there's nothing growing here other than the two leaves, right? Nothing growing here other than the two leaves. And then we get to a place where we don't have enough oxen to suppress growth anymore. And then what do I see here? I see another tip growing here. I see another tip growing here. Why did it not come out here? Because oxen is actually suppressing the growth and stopping that from happening, okay? So I see here, and then it's growing, and then over here, we have less and less oxen, less and less oxen, and that's why all of these sides have new growth here. And then what's going to happen is because these are new growths, you're not gonna see any grow here where my nail is, right? It's, it's gonna suppress that growth. So oxen suppresses growth on the top of the plant, all the way down to about this side. And because remember, it's gonna diffuse, you're gonna get a smaller, smaller concentration. And I'm willing to bet you, if this part grows out, okay, we're gonna see the exact same thing repeated. Okay, where it's not gonna grow and then suddenly, it's gonna to get to a point where this tip has grown far enough from here that this section won't have enough oxen coming from the new tip going that way and it's gonna start growing. So that's the part, that's oxen, that's rooting hormone. So why is rooting hormone suppressing growth and why are we still using it? And the wonder of biology is that oxen does more than one thing. I'm gonna put my tweezer down, I'm gonna start moving this down. This is a fresh cut, so it's not gonna have a, any roots on it, okay? But what oxen does is that as it travels down, as it travels down, as it travels down and farther away from the apical meristem, this is what it's called, the top part of the plant, the apical meristem. I'm gonna get some lateral meristems, don't worry about that, we already talked about them. It's gonna to get to the bottom where there are no more leaves, and then it's going to collect. It's gonna stay here and it's going to sort of pool, if you will. And what that does to the plant is it tells it like, okay, I don't have a growth place here. I don't have an apical meristem, right? But I just have a bunch of oxen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sending out roots. So oxen does two things. Number one, it suppresses growth from the top, but on the, two, on the bottom, if we have these root cells that are honestly created because of this oxen's activity, it's going to start sending out roots. And the more oxen there is at the roots, at the root tips, the faster that the roots are going to grow. So oxen creates roots at the bottom, oxen suppresses growth at the top. I bet you guys never knew that about rooting hormone. And why am I okay with dipping my hand in here and moving it around? Is because I know that I'm a human, I'm not a plant, I'm not gonna grow roots off the tip of my fingers because in biology, form fits function, right? Or function fits form, whatever. Um, and one of the main goals for biology is checks and balances. For example, um, growth hormone, right? You, uh, going through puberty, you, you make a bunch of growth hormone, you start shooting up. Why, are you, why do your eyeballs not get huge? Because your eyes don't have the necessary receptors for growth hormone to grow big, okay? And uh, same thing here. Why would I not start growing roots? Because my cells don't have the same receptor for rooting hormone. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually going to pull out some of my, what do you call these things? The um, 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 the door baby tears. And I'm gonna dip these guys in rooting hormone and I'm gonna put them back and hopefully that'll help them root a little bit. That's more than enough crack. I mean, I mean, rooting hormone. So I'm gonna pull that up. Did I say crack? I'm sorry, I meant rooting hormone. Pull this up. 
this still looks kind of bad. Also, I was scooting my chair earlier. I wasn't farting or anything. I'm gonna dip all that bottom part, not the top part, but I'm just gonna dip the bottom in rooting hormone. You can see I did a lot, there's a lot of it. Dip all that in rooting hormone. Then I'm gonna replant it. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna move it back down here. Then I'm gonna throw that in the water. Is it gonna turn white? Yes. Do I care? No, we can wash that away. I'm gonna do this one too. I'm gonna dip it in rooting hormone. Just like that. It's not gonna focus on it. There it is. I'll take it. Oh, I forgot to tell you where to get this. You can get this at any gardening store, any Home Depot home improvement store with a garden section. It's not that expensive. You know, okay, that's good. I'm gonna get this part too. I pulled that out of the, out of the soil there. I'll try to dry this one off, it's a little bit wet. Okay, let me fix that for me for you guys real quick. Ooh, I dropped a little bit. Oh no. Oh well, it's a plant, it'll survive. I think. Okay, let's dip this. I feel like I'm battering like chicken legs for, for frying or something. Oh God, I'm kind of, kind of getting hungry here. All right. Put that shit in. I'm only gonna do three today. I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow. I'm getting kind of tired. So, um, what else was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah. And hopefully guys, I hope you guys understand that sometimes you need to learn a little bit. I'm a biology major. I took a, um, a couple of plant classes and embryology class and we talked about oxen. There's a lot of things like gibberellic acid, that actually makes fruit grow bigger. A lot of your produce is actually dipped in gibberellic acid to make them grow bigger. But stuff like that, it's this knowledge that you get from reading, from going to class, from stuff like that, that gives you an upper edge, right, in, in aquascaping. So is this a new project? Yes. Is this an experiment? Yes. But hopefully if it works, you guys get better plants. I hopefully bring something to this YouTube community, to the aquascaping community. Is this going to look not ideal? Yeah, but if it works, it works, right? I can always clean this off later with more water when I flood the tank. All right, thank you guys all for watching and I uh, hope you guys learned something today. I'll come out with an update in a couple of weeks or so. And uh, happy aquascaping, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it comment with any more questions and uh, subscribe if you want if not just tell me what i did wrong you know hopefully i can fix it for the next video thank you guys all for watching i'm addicted to nature and uh see you guys later and i know guys that i told you guys goodbye already but just to reiterate do not mix rooting hormone with water and spread it throughout your tank uh from the lesson that you guys just spent 13 minutes uh, seeing is that rooting hormone actually suppresses growth anywhere but the roots. Right? It's made from the apical meristem. Like I said, once it's growing, once you are the apical meristem, you actually make a lot of rooting hormone, a lot of oxen, and it suppresses growth down the line. So anywhere that's not a root section is going to get suppressed. Do not sprinkle this like powdered sugar on a cake. Okay, do not do that. You actually have to get that on the roots and the roots only. Do not, please do not sprinkle it like powdered sugar. All right, thank you guys very much. Have a good day.